with props. I have a basement full of props. You wouldn't believe it. So we'll just let our puppeteers get ready here, and then we're going to be telling you, thank you, I'm getting this from someone. <laughs> you like puppet shows, huh? Good, 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 good. All right, let me have a look. Behind. Yeah. Okay, they need more room. You can move forward. Oh, good. There we go. I'm on the up. Okay, here we go. This is a story this morning that takes place at the beginning of the New Testament. And it's right close to the birth of Jesus. It's right before it. And it involves two people who are Jesus's aunt and uncle. And their names are Zechariah and Elizabeth. And they were really old. What? What did she say? Oh, dear, you're so old, but you're still a baby. <laughs> they loved God, these two. And God loved them. But here's the thing. They were old, and they had never been able to have children. Let's check this out. This is my prego meter. <laughs> so Elizabeth is not pregnant at this point. Uh, God in his infinite wisdom has chosen us not to have a child. Yes, sadly, that is right. We were never blessed to have a child. So Zechariah and, and Elizabeth, though, they were great church workers, and they liked to work in the church all the time. Well... Zechariah was kind of like a pastor in the church. And in the temple, when it was his turn, he would go into this special place and he would light the incense and light the candles and get everything ready. Only special priests could do that. So today is his day to do it. Yes, yes, today, today is my day to go into the temple and burn the incense and light the candles. All right. See you guys. Okay, we'll stay here and pray. Yeah, we'll be waiting for it. So that's what happened. The worshippers stayed outside praying, and Zechariah went into the temple to light the candles and do his thing. So while he was in the temple getting ready, an angel appeared. Dun, 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 dun. became pregnant. 
But through those whole nine months, where's my calendar? Through, my, through the whole nine months, Zechariah was not able to speak. Months went by. Can you imagine? Months went by. How many months went by? Nine. Nine. Good. A hundred. Oof. <laughs> nine months went by. And after nine months, Elizabeth had a baby. <laughs> and Zechariah was so thrilled, and Elizabeth was so thrilled. And so the crowd spoke to Elizabeth. So what are you going to name him? Zachariah? No, we're going to name him John. John? There's no one in your family named John. <laughs> you see, back then, they always named somebody after someone in the family. So Elizabeth said, oh, no, we're, let's ask Zachariah. So they went to Zachariah. And Zachariah indicated that he wanted a tablet. No, no, not that kind of tablet. No, not, not an electronic tablet. Oh yeah, a writing tablet. And then Zechariah wrote on the tablet. His name is John. Yes! I have a son! And his name is John! And you know who that, and you know who that baby turned out to grow up to be? John the Baptist. <laughs> Prepare the way of the Lord. A voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare, prepare, O people. Prepare the way for the Lord. Yes, he turned out to be a really special baby. Because you say to yourself, why is this story in the Bible? Why does the New Testament start off with such a strange story of two minor characters having a baby? Why does the angel come? Well, the reason is, it's such big news. The God of the universe, who has not been walking around on the earth, has decided to come to earth as a baby. Jesus, who had always lived, he decided to come as a baby. And it was big news. And so John was sent ahead of him to say, get ready, everybody. Something really special is coming. Someone really special is coming. And that was John's job, to tell them that Jesus was soon to be here. So that's our story today.